in our life. I'll tell you what, if you put five or six hours of bad news in you a day and one little daily devotion of a morning, I'm telling you the bad is outweighing the good. We need to get back in the Word of God. We need to get back in an old altar of prayer. We need to get back in a personal relationship with Jesus. You need to get back, amen, active in church. I'm telling you today, amen, that the Lord is alive and well. He's still on the throne. The devil's fighting, but God... God is working, amen. There's too much negative stuff out there. You'll have to admit that tonight. You'll have to be honest about that. There's too much negativity out there. But I'm glad to report, praise God, that Elijah overcome. Paul overcome, John the Baptist overcome, Peter overcome. I'll share this with you and I'll move on. In Philippians chapter 4 and verse number 6 and verse number 7, we have a command and we have a promise. This will help people struggling with anxiety and depression and fear. The command comes in verse number 6. It says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God. But then the promise comes in verse number 7 the Bible says and the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus that tells us that if we'll quit worrying so much and we'll pray a lot more and be careful for nothing and take our things to, to the Lord in prayer and give him thanks for what he has done and give him thanks for what he's going to do he'll send a peace the Bible says that passeth all understanding Matthew 11 and 28 Jesus Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, the Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not on thine own understanding. Acknowledge him in all thy ways, and he shall direct thy paths. There is a friend. His name is Jesus. What about people tonight that you're waiting, and you've not got no answer from God? What about those tonight that's out there and they're waiting? I know what that's like. It's tough, ain't it? Let's think tonight on John chapter 11, a story of Mary and Martha and Lazarus. And the Bible teaches us that their best friend, Jesus, verse number 5 tells us that Jesus loved Martha and Mary and Lazarus. Verse number 11 tells us that Lazarus was Jesus' friend. And the truth of the matter is this, they were waiting. They'd sent word. and They told Jesus, you need to get here. Our brother's sick. But the Bible said that he tired. God don't work on mine and your time. God works on his time. And there may be somebody out there tonight that's waiting. You've not got your answer from God. And you've been begging and seeking and calling out on God. I'm glad tonight to tell you there is a friend. I'm glad to tell you tonight that he sticketh closer than a brother. I'm going to tell you tonight to keep praying, to keep trusting, to keep fighting the good fight. Don't give up. Don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. Don't lose sight. There is a friend tonight. Mary and Martha had to wait. Hey man, when Jesus finally showed up, it was four days later. Hey man, Martha said, Lord, if you'd only been here, that's the way we are. When God shows up in our life, we start to argue. With, well, Lord, if you'd have done been here, God, if you'd have done this, she began to argue with him and tell him there's no use in going to the grave. He stinks by now. He's done began to decompose. But the truth is, Jesus got over there. He went to the grave. The Bible said he wept. And then he called Lazarus forth. Honey, I want you to know tonight, just keep waiting. Just keep hanging on. Hey, help is on the way. Jesus has always been right on time. Don't give up. Don't lose faith. Don't lose sight. Jesus is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. I want to share this one last thing with you and I'll try to tie it up. Jesus is a friend even in sin. Ain't that good news tonight? Jesus is a friend even to sinners. It's what Matthew 11 and 19 tells us. And the Bible says in Romans 5 and 8, But God commendeth His love towards us, and that while we were yet sinners... 
Christ died for us. Jesus went all the way to the cross of Calvary. Jesus shed his precious blood. Jesus gave his life. He died hanging there upon that tree for me and you, oh unworthy sinners. But I'm telling you what, it's the best gift you'll ever receive. Jesus is the best thing that'll ever happen to you. And I'm telling you here tonight, hey, maybe you're like David. Maybe you've been saved. The Bible said David was a man after God's own heart. Hey, man, he was a king. He was a leader. But he messed up. And I'll tell you what, hey, man, David had to get to a place. He tried to cover his sin up at first, but then he got to a place where he called out on God and he asked God to renew a right spirit in him, to cleanse him. Maybe tonight that's where you're at. Maybe tonight that you've strayed from God. I'm glad to tell you tonight there's help in Jesus. There's a friend in Jesus. He's a friend even in sin. And I'm glad to report to you tonight, amen, that in Psalms 57 and 7, David was able to cry out, Oh, my heart is fixed. Oh, God, my heart is fixed. Nothing feels better than to get right with God. I want you to know this tonight. If you're out there watching, God spoke to your heart. Maybe you've struggled with something that the Lord's put on our heart to share. I know God gave me this message tonight. I know He did. And I'm going to tell you what, I believe God's speaking to hearts. Our good friends walking by faith and Jeff, they're about to sing. I'll tell you what I want you to do. When you begin to hear this sweet music that soothes the soul, the Holy Ghost has already captured you and captivated you. I'll tell you what I want you to do. I want you to just steal away. I want you to just fall down on your knees. Cry out to Jesus, the only one who can save you, the only one who can help you. I'm glad tonight there is a friend. There's been times in my life, I've got some great friends. There's been times in life they wasn't there when I needed them. But there's one ever since I've been saved. He's never left me. He's never forsaken me. And He wants to save you tonight. He wants to cleanse you. He wants to help you. As they sing tonight, I want you to bow down and I want you to call upon the name of Jesus right now. Wait. 
you cry Have mercy on me I am the one When I heard you cry Have mercy on me I am the one. All righty, walking by faith, and they're going to be joining me. And Jeff Tolbert's going to be joining me. And, uh, man, I want to read a couple of these praise reports and things that's coming in. The singing is wonderful. I wanted to thank TV16 for having good music to move our hearts. I've been a blessing tonight. Uh, they are being a blessing, that's for sure. They have been. There's somebody that says they appreciate the program and Patrick uh, Patrick's testimony. Let's see, we got a lot of them here. Said, caller really loves Patrick O'Deal, or Pastor O'Deal hopes to see more of him. Let me tell you, folks, you will be seeing more of him, that's for sure. Here's a caller that really loves the guest tonight and hopes to see more of him. Excellent. And here's somebody that says, really enjoying the program. And uh, folks, keep going to the phones. we still got time to get your prayer request in. Our prayer partners are here, standing by to take your call. And if you've ever been called to a prayer ministry, I want to invite you to come out and join our prayer team on the phones out here. It's a wonderful ministry. You can come one night a week, one night a month. doesn't matter. We just want you to come. And I'll tell you, you'll be blessed in this the call in, but in turn, let me tell you, you'll be blessed more. You, it's unbelievable. The, the feeling and the emotion and the blessings that you get out of praying for somebody just given that couple of hours a week of your time. So if you're interested in that, give us a shout. You can talk to Amanda. Uh, you can talk, call me. Uh, Amanda's our prayer partner coordinator. So, um, but we'll we'll help you out there. We can get you taken care of. Jeff Tolbert. Yeah, hey, how are you, brother? Good to see you. Good to see you. Jim Earl and Amy. Thank y'all so much for being here tonight. Good to be with you. Man, y'all are doing a good job. No, thank and you, brother. and first off, let me thank you for introducing me to that young man. What a blessing! I'm telling you, man, <laughs> he was on fire, on fire. I hadn't heard. Yeah. The entire testimony I had an idea. I hadn't heard the entire testimony, but there's so many people out there that's going through these things. I mean, yeah. it, it's it's unreal the, the the drug epidemic. And he was telling me now that um, off camera that um, the opioid crisis is just worse than the meth crisis we saw ten years ago or something. So, but the thing is, it's just sin. Yeah, and they ain't not forgot to take care of that. And there is yeah. hope, brother. There is hope. There is I mean. Hope. Uh, to see what he's gone through and what God brought him through. You know, I was telling him, some people, they get on that stuff for a couple of years oh, and they're yeah. dead. You yeah. know, he kept them alive, kept them through those things and stayed with them. So it's unreal. Right. Unreal. So, but yes, you'll be seeing more of Patrick O'Deal. If he'll come back, will you come back, brother? Amen. He says amen. So. <laughs> I love it. But uh, anyway, Jimmy Earl, talk to us about the music tonight. First off, well, you killed some bears last year. Yeah, That's pretty we, awesome. We got to get a few. But man, we had a blast. Sorry that we didn't there. get one when you was there. We still you, had fun, no doubt. Oh, man, I, I hadn't had more fun, and I couldn't tell you when. I yeah. mean, between chasing those dogs through the woods and <laughs> gotten to eat the bear, and I'm that night. There at bear camp, that was phenomenal. I couldn't keep you phenomenal. out of the grill. You can, that's yeah. for sure. That's for sure. You wouldn't want to try either. Yeah. I tell you. Oh, that's a good week of fellowship. Man, we always yeah. enjoy that, and it's such a blessing for our how, how friends to come down. How long y'all been doing that? Down. Gosh, 20, long 25 time. years, maybe. Wow. Or so. I've just got in on what the last seven or eight years, but yeah, uh, yeah. I put it on my calendar every year, and it is a blessing. <laughs> just to, Definitely. Well, now, how far do you and Jimmy Earl go back? Um. A couple of days, about maybe a week. About 10 years, about 10 years I guess. Years. Well, a lot of people don't realize, Jeff, is you travel with a lot. Not travel, but you sing and produce with a lot of different groups. Right. Play fill in guitar, fiddle, or how many instruments do you play now? Um, that many, huh? Right. I had to think about it. <laughs> just, just a few, just here and there. But Lord sure blessed me, and I counted a privilege to be able to work with a lot of different groups, and yeah. especially walking by faith. And I, I remember when uh, Norman's brother, Furman, had introduced me. Him and Norman introduced me 
to the Birch Fields up in Robbinsville. And, uh, We're supposed to have been about 50 year old. Yeah, when, Jeff, when, when they explained it to me, it's, you know, it's a, <laughs> yeah, well, uh, a quartet's going to come down, and I was expecting these 16 year old men yeah. to come down and sing quartet singing, you know, <laughs> uh -huh. whatever. And when I got there, I thought, well, Lord, they brought their youngins with them. <laughs> so uh, I went outside the studio, and they just kept getting out of the car. And of uh -huh. course, Furman came in, and Norman and brought them in. And, uh, yeah. I've point, maybe that. maybe two songs I guess we recorded and right. man it just like we just Not all sure fell in love with each other that. and the fellowship was wonderful and I felt like they was just my family yeah. Yeah, and it felt like family to me That's and awesome. uh, and we got in the studio and Lord and mercy we made music and we sang and most of all the spirit of God came That's out. It, Jeff. Yeah. and what a blessing that was I'm awesome. Awesome. And God put us together I remember standing by brother Norman funeral that sings that song with the primitives for so many years and I stood by the graveside there and looked around the graveside that day and uh, realized how many people that God had blessed us uh -huh. through Amen. Norman and his brother right. and through the quartet That's and different true, ones yeah. how he blessed our our friends and our family you know and everybody gathered Amen. around and yeah. God puts people in our paths like that and yeah. just like Patrick what a blessing oh, man. you know I would have probably never met Patrick if it hadn't been for these guys yeah. you know and Love to hear him preach and love to be with him and his whole family. They're just wonderful folks. Excellent. We got to be with Brother Patrick uh, Dante uh, in his first revival. Wow. We went to sing just, you know, one night, and it ended up, I think, five weeks. Wow. He preached, and he, awesome. he preached so hard he, he, he couldn't talk yeah. much, but it seemed like when he'd get back in that night, he was just on fire for God again. So That's amazing. I believe it went on for uh, over five weeks, I believe it was. That but is amazing. Man, first you're talking revival. about a time yeah it's good well and amy you get to travel with your husband and your friends and family that's got to be awesome a lot of wives have to sit at home and wait for them to come back well some people together. have to go and keep him straight and if i'm not there then i turn to go i these two here kind of keep <laughs> well, it was me. so funny Amy. you know you, you didn't camp with us that <clears> week but I was with you guys. And I've been around y'all. Of course, Jeff, I've known you for a while now. Mm -hmm. But this is the first time I've been with you guys together a while. Right. It was like a marriage between these two. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I mean, they were bigger like they were a husband and wife. And then they'd, yeah, oh, man, brother, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> it was the funniest thing. Well, we have a wonderful time. <laughs> <laughs> well, your latest it. album, uh, it's all about him. Yeah. But you got something else in the works. Tell us about that. Yeah, we got a new project that yes. I'm hoping to get finished up. As a matter of fact, uh, one of a friend of mine is working on it tonight, and I'm going to finish it out tomorrow with him in the studio. And uh, the name of it is Higher Than I. Higher Than I. Higher Than I. Higher than and, uh, so when, is, uh, when will that be coming out? Any idea? We're hoping oh, yeah. maybe by the yeah. singing. Yeah. we got a singing coming oh, up awesome. March the homecoming. 17th. Yeah. yeah. yeah so Yeah, folks. they're homecoming singing. And this is cool. i got I got to get this up here here. Um, y'all are doing, uh, y'all sing a lot, a yeah. lot, a lot, a lot. Um, and Jimmy, you work full time, don't you? Nah, yeah. Man, or for just about, I tell you, man. Whew. Anyway, y'all going to be up uh, Trinity Baptist Church. Does he work? He drives a tractor. Well, he's you know, he's, somebody's got to yeah. hold the fort down. <laughs> Trinity I Baptist. tell them how to drive the tractor. Now, all <laughs> the other boys that walk in my faith with us, they work for me. Man, so that's they. unreal. And y'all are just about every weekend, if yeah. not every yeah. weekend, aren't you? Yep. That's yeah. unreal. I don't see how you do it. And you go all over the southeast, yeah. northeast. Well, how far uh, have you gone? Have uh, gone we'll go to Mississippi, right? Florida, oh, Alabama, man. just wherever, Tennessee. Man, I need to get we to We take them every now and then over to Mexico yeah. and the Bahamas with us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they go with us on the cruise sometimes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. But coming up, special event, uh, Trinity Baptist Church. Everybody knows uh, Ralph Sexton uh, Jr. up there, the pastor. Yeah. And uh, big night coming up. Tell us about March 17th there. Well, March the 17th, we're going to be in Robbinsville. Oh, did school. I get it wrong? Yes, no, I got it wrong. It's actually two different singings going oh, yeah. on there. Look at there. So, there you go. so the one that's coming up soon <laughs> is I'm March the 17th. I'm such an amateur at this. I should be better at this. You're going to have to let Patrick start. <laughs> I, come on up here, Patrick. <laughs> you promote this for me. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Just talk to us. Tell us where they're going to be at. All you got to do is read that right there. It's Robbinsville High School, March the 17th, 2018, 6 o'clock p.m., 7th Annual. Walking by Faith Homecoming. It's going to be the primitives and walking by faith this year. I'm telling you, we always have a great time, Amen. awesome time. Usually some shouting going on, people getting right. We've got old Walter up there that they make. It's a wonderful time. We encourage you to come out and be with us.
can I give a prior request? You certainly can. Quick? He's I've, got a job in television. I've, I've had all of these coming in. I've had Excellent. people that's texting me saying that they've been praying uh -huh. and, and that they touched them yeah. and they got down and prayed that? and everything. But uh, he's a young man back at the house a little over a week ago. He's a friend of mine, Dalen Carver. He was standing yeah. in our church the week before this happened, picking the guitar in the choir, and he wrecked Dante oh, a motorcycle. And, and they say that he's going to be paralyzed from his chest down. Mm. But God's been working one miracle after another in his life, mm. and I want to encourage people to lift Dalen Carver up in prayer. Yeah. Please pray for him. He's my Amen. friend. Amen. He needs you prior. We Amen. love you. We love you, man. Amen. We love you. So let's remember that special request tonight for sure. But I'm telling you, he's got a job. Right? He's, he's, he's getting good at it. i got one thing, and that's reading the right thing, and I can't even do it. <laughs> anyway, we'll remember that. What's the name again? Dalen? Dalen Carver. Dalen Carver. Dalen. We'll remember him tonight. So, uh, But real quick, Walking by Faith, 7th Annual Homecoming. Like Patrick said, he just said it. Yeah. yeah. Come on up it's and be a, with it's, it's always awesome, a good brother. time. We, a good we time. do. We have a wonderful Doors time. Four. Yeah. And we have a local church there, Hosanna Baptist, that has a wonderful ministry, Yuletide Helpers for the Children. They're going to be doing the concession stand to raise money for that. Yeah. So I encourage you to come early, get you a, save you a seat, and then you can eat while you wait for the singing to start. Excellent. I like eating. Oh, yeah, they always have good concessions. Y'all saw how much I like to eat. <laughs> yeah, we did, brother. That was fine. <laughs> we enjoyed that. I'm glad you liked oh, it. Y'all like to eat, too. Yes, Don't we do, brother. Don't that's what that thing's all about. So, that's pretty cool. So, Robbinsville High School, we used to talk about this on Down on Gospel, but we just hadn't had a chance to. So, put that on your calendar. More information, go to, what's the website? Walkingbyfaithgospelgroup.com. Walk Walkingbyfaithgospelgroup.com. Or you could probably get information through Primitive Quartet. Primitive Quartet. And then, speaking of Primitive Quartet, uh, this year, totally different. No Hominy Valley? No Hominy Valley. This is where I got confused. Yeah, this will be a trinity. We've decided to move inside, and Brother Brother Ralph has been so generous to yeah. let us have to use the facilities. So we're going to Trinity. It's going to be inside, so we don't have to worry about rain and all that kind of yeah. things, you know, and stuff like that. But we're going to have three nights. I think it's the second, third, and fourth. Uh, I think Doyle Austin and Quickserve will be with us on the second. and then. Excellent. You guys are going to be with us on the third, the third and uh, Good Shepherd's going Good to be Shepherd. with you guys. Shepherd. Simple Faith and uh, Journey Home will be with us the next night, which will be on the Journey fourth. Journey Home, man. There's some yeah. fans out there in this area of Journey yeah, Home, I'll tell you They're what. good people. So, we love them. They're friends yeah. of ours and always a blessing. Yeah. But we look forward to our singing being over there at Trinity this year. We'd yeah. like to invite everybody to come out. And not only that, but the next night, which is on Thursday night, Ralph starts his Land of the Sky Jubilee. Yeah. Awesome. So we're going to sing on Thursday night to get that kicked off yeah. for Ralph. And uh, always a good time for everybody to come up, have a good singing, and then go to Jubilee after that. So. Excellent. And uh, so March 17th up there at Robbinsville High School, the new album will most likely be done. We're going to try yeah. to get it yeah. done by then. And then, of course, uh, Jeff, you got a single as well out now. You can find it on the Primitive Quartet's yeah. website. Sure can. So. Man, where do y'all find place. time between singing and, and traveling and then hunting. in the studio producing and hunting? That's yeah, we get to fun, fish you know? every now and then. We, we try to, try <laughs> to take funny. time to do that. And, hey, we want you to come back and be with us. Yes, yes, fall. Brother. I certainly I enjoyed will, you man. being with yes, us. It's always a wonderful time. So we're going to let you guys slip over and do us another song for tonight. So right. as they get ready, folks, keep going to the phones tonight. we still got a little bit more time. But don't forget, Rollinsville High School, March 17th, the uh, seventh annual Homecoming with Walking by Faith and the Primitive Quartet. And then uh, um, this, uh, this summer, we always talking about the... Uh, Hominy Valley singing. It's going to be moved to the Trinity Baptist Church there in Asheville, North Carolina. So don't want to miss that. Hey, got a couple of praise reports here I want to read before we do another song. Here's a lady that had cancer and a prayer partner prayed for her and it's gone and she's praising God for that. That is awesome. So here's a young couple that inherited a house. That is wonderful. And they're just thanking God for that. I see. Really enjoying the program with Pastor Odeal. Thank you so much. Uh, here's Corey. He says, uh, loves and proud of Pastor Odeal tonight. That's awesome. I think y'all weren't joking that all of Robbinsville is watching tonight. Isn't that right? So, uh, let's see. Pastor Odeal is great and uh, live... Uh, really enjoyed the program tonight and do have a friend in Jesus. And here's one more person saying, enjoying the program tonight. So, that's awesome. Um, how much time we got? 
Patrick, come back over here. You can have a seat beside Jimmy Earl. Get over here, buddy. Come on over here. I want Patrick to, you can walk right in front of the camera, it don't matter. It's live television. <laughs> Trust me, I've done it and I'll do it again. So, um, Man, as uh, Walking by Faith gets ready to sing us out, Patrick, would you pray over all these prayer requests that's come in tonight? Love to, love to. Father, Lord God, as we bow our head before you here tonight, Lord, we thank you, God, for this privilege and opportunity, Lord, to come and, God, to fellowship, to share your word, God, to share song tonight. Lord, we thank you for being here with us, and, God, we realize it's touched hearts, and, God, there's been many prayer requests come in. Yeah. Lord, you know the needs yes, tonight. Yes, Father, we ask you, Lord, to touch yes, each and every one Jesus of these. Christ. Lord, as only you can. Lord, lay mm -hmm. your healing hand, God, your restoring hand, yes, your helping Lord. hand. Father, we pray tonight, we plead the blood of Jesus, yes, Isaiah Jesus 53 and 5, Lord, his healing stripes. Lord, we plead God, it tonight Jesus. Right. in Jesus' name, God. Amen. 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 Walking by faith is going to sing us out. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow night. Walking by faith, he's alive. cross they took Jesus Christ where they mocked him and beat him he gave his life but Hosanna.